Hello, my name is Ann Brock. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Right Start, and today I want to take you through a quick overview of the Helix ITSM solution from BMC Software. First, just a little about me. I've been working with BMC Helix ITSM since roughly 2001. I've seen it through many iterations, many versions, and I uh, have also worked with other BMC products as well. So hopefully I can take you through this and give you a good feel for the BMC ITSM solution. I'll not be able to cover everything, so please do contact us after this if there's something you want to dive into more. Let's go see what it looks like. This is the self-service portal, and I refer to it as Digital Workplace, that comes with the solution. BMC really meant this to be a one-stop shopping. So you can see when I come here, I have microsites set up to go to different areas. And these can all be branded differently. The HR solution, our site has some very specific colors on it, while the IT Central has different colors. Microsite access is, of course, all done through roles and permissions. So you can get, make sure your users are getting to the microsites that they should be getting to. Let's go ahead and just do a uh, fix or repair. That's a pretty common thing. I come up here to the service request. You can see we have a series of questions. Maybe uh, Scott's having a problem with his iPad. Of course, it's always very high urgency when it comes to that. And he can pick his asset here because we have the CMDB populated. We know which assets uh, are related to Scott, my end user. And you can pick the iPad from there. By the way, you do not have to have the urgency on here. If you'd rather your end users not pick that. All these questions are configurable. You can choose the questions you want to put in there. The idea is it gives me an easy way for Scott to fill out a few fields, submit the ticket, and the appropriate uh, actions take place in the back end. Scott wants to add another comment under here. Go ahead and do it. So you might say, um, Forgot to mention, I ran over it with my car. And you can go ahead and submit that. So also things that Scott can do here is, of course, see the status of things. And on closed tickets, you can go ahead and fill out surveys. You can have surveys for every kind of service request in the system. Or more likely, you're going to have a few surveys out here, maybe for HR, facilities, IT, et cetera, and tie them to the appropriate service request. You can have multiple questions, or you can keep it simple like this one. So Scott's not going to rate that right now. He's going to go back to the home page, and maybe he wants to do something else. As you look through this, you can start seeing some ideas of automation. So another thing BMC wanted to do is be able to automate things from here. So down here, maybe there's a software request if you have this tied to your uh, client management application, such as the BMC one or some other one. You could go ahead and have people request software, and once it got approved, automatically provision it. Or maybe access requests or password resets, whatever they are, you can kick off automation from here. And the final thing I like to talk about here, it's a little bit harder to show, is that this can go to third-party applications. I could be coming in here and I want to put a ticket into JIRA. I could fill out a service request that goes straight to JIRA, bypasses Helix ITSM altogether. Or maybe I wanted to go to Workday or some other application out there, or even a third-party provider if they'll allow it. So one-stop shopping, easy-to-use catalog, a catalog that can be branded and labeled and microsited to uh, whatever your needs are to make sure the right kinds of things are happening. I was going to show on this drop-down over here, some sample industry pages. You can see we've even done, our BMC has set up some demo sites specifically around particular industries. You can get very creative out here and make sure your end users can do what they need to do. This is available, of course, on the mobile devices. These can be done using um, the mobile browser. If you don't need an application on your mobile device, your users just go to the browser and look at the same look and feel, resize for whether the device is a phone or a tablet. Of course, users can call in tickets, they can email in tickets, and you can link it to their messaging apps, Teams, Slack, et cetera, is they'd rather communicate that way. Lots of ways for users to work with the help desk and get their needs met. A lot more I could be talking about on that, but we're going to go ahead and switch over to the back end. I did promise you a quick overview. So this is the back end where the support analysts are, are working. So I've switched hats. No longer my end user, Scott. I'm now my support analyst, 
called Beth. One of the things I really like to feature is the first thing BMC built into Smart IT, which was around the Smart Recorder. Maybe Beth gets a phone call from Scott because he's having some other problems. She starts typing at Scott and can go ahead and select him. He's having a problem with the media service application. Just like a person, I can add an asset or a business service and attach that to the ticket. Over here on the right, you can see as soon as I selected that, I've got over here that there is an outage going on, so perhaps Scott's problem is tied to the outage. I also have some possible templates. I have possible knowledge articles that could help Scott with whatever problem he's having. Over here on the left, I've got information about Scott. I've got his assets. I've got his recent tickets. Well, he just reported nine minutes ago a problem with the media service. He may be doing a bit of double dipping here. As so I can see his open tickets, his resolved tickets, what's been going on with Scott. And over here, I can see possible duplicate tickets as well. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and create a ticket and create a work order, which is more of a non-IT thing, or an incident ticket when it's more IT, either break, fix, or service. I've created this ticket. I can see down here by adding the media service. It was actually put into my ticket in the service field. Save it, and I've got the ticket going. I have service level targets tied to this. Those are going to start kicking out. You can start seeing some SLAs going on up here. And then I can go ahead and see details in the ticket. Want to add notes? Add a note, something very creative. I can make it private, means support can see it, or I can make it public, meaning uh, Scott will see that out on the self service portal. Go ahead and post that, and that note's available. Now, let's say as I'm researching this and I'm looking at my knowledge base and doing everything else, I need to involve someone else in this ticket. I can go ahead and email someone from the ticket, whether it's Scott or whether it's somebody else in the system. Um, I'm going to pick a different Scott. Scott is Sarah. And uh, go ahead and come down here to help with this ticket, please. And I can attach and add a knowledge article. So I can involve people through email. You can also just go ahead and add them, and they'll see it on their dashboard. And it depends how people want to work. They can go ahead and be brought in a multitude of ways. There's also agent to agent chat available. Lots of ways for me to get other people involved with this ticket. But let's say as I've worked it, I've decided this is actually a major incident. Well, now we have some major incident functionality. I can go and say, yes, this is a major incident. Of course, it's all dependent on permissions. But when I pick that, I said, well, okay, you better have a major incident manager and somebody to coordinate all this. So I'm going to add those and go ahead and save that information. There may be other people I need to bring into this. Like, for example, Scott Asura. So I can just scroll down here, add a team member. I'm going to come to person here, Scott Asura, and link him to this major incident record as well. And, yeah, I'll let him have um, – he's a subject matter expert. I'm going to give him that role. He should have read-write accident to pretty everything. Go ahead and save. And now he's part of the major incident team as well. So I'm able to pull people into this ticket in a lot of variety of ways, and I could even launch the chat ops at this point. You could link this to Teams, for example, create a Teams room automatically with all the appropriate people in it, do all your communications in Teams, and then go ahead and when that Teams room chat, whatever, closes, go ahead and bring that information into the ticket. So a lot of capabilities work in the ticket. Very easy to create a ticket, get access to information, and then involve others in it. The last thing I'm going to show in this quick overview is really around the reporting. We are using Helix Dashboards, which is built on the Grafana product. The idea being is to give you a rich dashboards and reporting environment. Of course, there are plenty of reports and dashboards out of the box. Here's an ITSM dashboard. You can see across the top, right now I'm looking at all, all assigned groups. Just want to look at one group I can. I'm going to go back to all because I don't have a lot of data in here. I'll look at it by various priorities. I can go ahead and look at it by different time frames. I'm going to go 90 days. I'm really historical past here. And I can, of course, share it and schedule it to go ahead and email out uh, to people on a regular basis or just share it with other people directly. There's drill down capability here. If I'm wondering about, oh, maybe these 86 critical change management, Sign tickets, I can go ahead and click on that. 
get to there and start seeing what's going on with them. And I can launch them, of course, by clicking as well. So easy to get information, easy to dig down into information. If I need to modify or create a new one, I just come in here and I edit this dashboard. I have a couple options. This one is set up with a SQL statement. So I can just put a SQL statement in here. If I'm not a SQL person, I can do it by form-based. And now you see there are particular fields. If I wanted to add another one, maybe a sign group, I just go ahead and add that. And that would be on my report as well. I'm not going to save that because that report's not going to make much sense now. But that's how you can come in and edit the dashboards. A lot more I could be talking about here, but I did promise you a quick overview. So hopefully uh, you've gotten a feel for what Helix ITSM is. It's fully ITIL 4 compliant, has all the areas you expect, and plus a lot more. If you are interested in doing, you know, seeing more about this, you can always contact WrightStar, info at WrightStar.com. Give us a yell, and we'll be happy to help you out and show you more demos or answer your questions. Thank you so much.